Hey guys, I know it's been a while, and uh, last time we left off, we were making distraction bombs or grenades, if you will. And now I'd like to cover more of the smoke grenade aspect, or concealment and escape. For this, you're going to need strike on box matches and sparklers. You can use the act wiring for the sparklers to make the pull ring and the matches and the strike on part will be used on the container for the pull ring now you can see in here the sparkling mixture at the bottom and some of the match heads I'm not cutting them off with the wood I'm just taking no that one's bad the match and scraping it off with a knife right into the bowl. Once I'm done with that, grind it up, mix it around quite a bit, pour it into the sparkler package into here and the package that the sparklers actually come. Alright, so I've got it all crushed and mixed up. This is uh about 80% sparkler and 20% match heads. Now all we need to do is make the casing and add the fuse and then we're going to be ready to go. Alright, as you can see here I have got it all into a bag. Same sparkler bag it came in. Now for the actual fuse you're going to need two matches side by side and the igni ignition part from the box. All you do here is take the two, place it in the center, and loosely wrap it around. From there you just duct tape that together, leaving both ends intact. And if you're going to make it a pull ring, take the wiring and run it in between both of the matches wrapping it around and duct tape that. If not you can simply use it as a press, press it down and it will spark it up. Make sure it's not too loose though because if it is you're just going to waste your time and have to relight the matches. Alright now I've made the fuse for it, I don't know where that is and I added the bottom support to the actual container. Take your bag of mix and pour it in. Make sure there's no leaks or anything at the bottom because this will leak through and completely fuck you up. Once you're done there, where'd it go? Once you're done there, you want to take this and carefully tape it to the inside so it has support and when you push it down, it lights, it ignites the mixture from the inside. Add a couple of layers of duct tape around and make sure there's a hole somewhere where the smoke can fly out from it because this stuff is pretty powerful. When used in large enough quantities it can definitely smoke up a whole house. So see you guys next time. Alright and this is your final product. Simply push in. It will fall and ignite. You want to leave it where there's at least that much space for it to fall in. Now, if you want it to be a little bit better, I'd recommend cutting it off about halfway down on the matches where it still has time to slide and go through and fall, but not enough to really come out or break off if it's in your pocket or utility belt. So this is the finished product. When I get some more, I will put a video up of what it can really do. So, till next time, see you guys later.